Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing another review for you. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Saint Tropez Bronzing Water Gel, and this is part of their Purity line. Um, today I am going to be letting you guys know my opinions on this self tanner. I'm going to give you a pros and cons list, and I'm also going to compare it to my two other favorite tanners and let you know maybe the color difference because my two other ones are also Saint Tropez products. So I'll let you know because they all have a different uh, color that they give off, like either the undertone or how light and dark they are. So if you guys want to know more about this self tanner right here, then just keep watching. So this bronzing water gel retails for $44, which is very uh, normal for Saint Tropez products. It's pretty uh, normal for just all tanners in general. Usually they're between like... 35 and 50 dollars so this is within you know a normal range um i wrote down it says a natural looking glow in three hours now i'm gonna touch on that right there for a second because i bought this tanner thinking oh my goodness it's gonna give me you know this beautiful like what color i am right now in three hours and i get to wash it off and then you know it's going to you know continue to develop no, that is not how this works, so I don't want any of you guys to get confused by that. What it is saying is, since this is clear, and we'll talk about that in a second, it um, you can wear it around all day. If you remember my Saint Tropez Extra Dark review when I was talking about it, I said you cannot go out in public with that on because you would look crazy. It, it just looks like you have mud all over your body. However, this one is completely clear, and it you really don't notice anything like it's honestly it's kind of cool because like as you're going through your you know daily activities you start noticing like wow I am getting tan right now and that color is the color that you are when you rinse off and if you've used other self tanners with a color guide you know that once you rinse it off you're usually quite a bit lighter than um you were before you did that so this one you get to watch the color develop as it goes so you start noticing some color around the three hour mark it's nothing drastic it is like they say natural looking glow if you want to go for this full tan glow which i'm full tan glow that's a weird weird way to describe it i'm going to insert a picture right now because these lights are definitely um what's a good word they're making me look paler than i am that's a good way to put it so um, i'm going to insert the photo right here of what i'm actually looking like right now so that you guys you know get a good idea of what color this ends up looking like but yes no at the three hour mark you don't get to just rinse this off. You have to wear this for eight hours. Uh, it says like natural look at three hours, but don't touch water for eight. So I am a person when I have tanner on, whether like I couldn't feel this, it was really nice. It really just, I don't know, like sometimes I feel sticky and nasty. Like you don't feel sticky or anything with this, but I'm not a person who's gonna go walk around and do my daily activities. Cause just knowing me, I'm gonna somehow touch water or like, and then I'm gonna get like a streak and I'm just I'm not here for that, okay? After I applied this self tanner, I took a few notes and I put them in my phone. So I'm going to read to you what I, you know, think about it right away. <clears throat> I said, it's super easy to apply the gel. It just glides. It smells like tropical body wash because it doesn't smell like that typical DHA, almost kind of like an oatmeal muffin smell. If you use tanners, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, can't smell the, you can't smell the DHA right away. You can't, after a while, you can like see it like, that smells like trying to creep in. However, it never like full, is fully there. And after you rinse it off, you will never smell DHA at all. Like I have other ones. It's like when you get, it sounds weird, but when you get like warm or sweaty or something like that, like you start really smelling the DHA. That does not happen with this. It's really nice. Um, the scent doesn't remain after you do it. Like after I rinse this off, I don't smell tropical, but I also don't smell like DHA. So I prefer that. Cause like I said, it just smells like any kind of tropical body wash you've ever used. Um, it's clear, which makes it difficult to know where you miss and it dries fast. So what I want to touch on right there is that it is for a first time tanner. I do not recommend this. You, if you aren't careful about where you're putting it, you'll never know. Cause it says like, Oh, it has a sheen. I couldn't see that sheen. So that's like a con, uh, first, well, let's just start our pros and cons right now. Well, I guess we'll start with the cons. So we'll end on the pros we'll end on a high note here. The con about this, I really wish they put a um, uh, a color guard in it. I understand why, because they want you to be able to go out and do your daily activities. But I won't do my daily activities if I, you know, 
have to make sure I don't get water on me. So I prefer there to be some sort of color guard and maybe that's something they'll work on in the future. Um, because if you don't know where you're putting it, especially if you're new to this, you're not going to be thinking of all the places it has to go. Like I know like, oh, okay, on my back, I always have to go this way and then I have to go this way and then I go like this, like with the mitt. But if I don't do this on a, you know, regular basis, I would never know, know that. And then like my only issue, but other than that, like this glides on super easy. So if you're going to use a clear foam or a clear gel, use a clear gel. It makes it 10 times easier. My only issue I have with this is on my hands, I can usually figure it out with like what colors on my mitt and on my arm to my hand. I know like, okay, it's going to be dark here. It's going to start getting lighter here. But when it's clear, really seriously, guys, just use the uh, whatever's on your body and just kind of wipe it up because yeah, the last thing you want is to put too much color on your hands. That is the hardest one. It, it, your hands are what's out in front of you all the time. Like when you grab something, when you sign a paper, when you pick up groceries. Like I, my hands are my number one thing. I always want to come out good. I don't care. I could wear, if I mess up like my chest somehow, which you usually don't, but if I did, I could wear something like this and you guys wouldn't even know. But like, I didn't do that. See, so it's all good. Um, I'm not wearing this to cover up anything. Um, but yeah, other than the fact that it has no color guard, I really love this product. So I'm going to switch over into the pros, but, oh, I just want to show you guys, my hands actually came out pretty good. Um, if I do say so myself, I never get any of that. Like, like ever see when people have lines and stuff, I don't usually ever get that. I don't know if maybe my skin just doesn't pick that up, but this doesn't do that. It glides right over. And I feel like if you do have that issue, this probably would, um, help with that. This hand didn't turn out as well as my last one, but I remember panicking when I felt like I didn't have enough gel on it because I couldn't see it. That was an issue. So I put a little more on. I was like rubbing it here and kind of wiped it on my hand real fast. So it didn't come out as good as the other hand, but it's not bad by any means. But anyway, let's just talk about the pros of this product. The pros of this product is that this product glides on so easily. Much more than a foam. Like a foam, after a while, it starts drying. This is just, it's like a body gel. Think about like how far body gel goes. Like you can really just get your whole arm and everything like that. This whole thing, I could do my whole upper thigh with one pump and usually I use between two to three pumps. So I really liked that. Another pro is that this color is amazing. It's very golden and I'm going to get into that with my other tanners and we'll talk about their undertones, but this color is just so golden and natural. Like I really just looked like I went to the beach. It's not too dark where you're like, Ooh, is that a self tanner? I mean, mind you, it's February. So if I'm walking around here, super tan, they're either going to think that I, you know, fake tanned or that I was just at the beach. So we can only hope they think about the beach, but I really like this product. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. I'm not a person who sits there and exfoliates for hours. Like I'm going to be honest, I don't got time for that. So I just like take a cloth and I'm like, done. I exfoliated it, call it a day. So this doesn't cling to anything. It spreads really far. Like I said, if they have a color guard in this, I think this is going to be the absolute best self tanner. I'd love if they could figure out how to make this in a three hour and then let it develop on, you know, let me rinse off and develop on its own for eight hours. That would make it like the self tanner that I would never like stray from. I would only ever use the self tanner. I really love this formula. I, you guys wait, I'm sure other tanning companies are going to be probably, probably mimicking this because it is so good. Like right when they, I think, I don't know if they were the first, so don't quote me on that, but when they made the mousse self tanner, that was revolutionary in my opinion, because I'm not good with like the lotions using a mitt. Oh, use a mitt with this guys. Always use a mitt. Always, no matter what, just use a mitt with your self tanners as the, my best trick for everyone. That's I don't know. I feel like everyone at this point uses a mitt. So use a mitt. <laughs> I'm just such a huge fan of this product. I think they did such a good job. I love that St. Tropez keeps pushing the bar. And I really feel like they are the OG people who made it so that we are no longer the color of an orange when we self tan. I, I really like it. Um, it says new tropical scent. But I love that they feel the need to just keep going. They don't just settle and they always create something new and different. And I think that's just an awesome thing about this company. Um, I'm not sponsored to say any of this. I paid for all this on my own. But I really, really love St. Tropez. And I love how convenient, convenient it is to get it. You don't always have to just order it online. You can just go and um, go to your Ulta and pick it up. But yeah, I right now I'm going to go compare this self tanner to my other two favorites. And I'll let you guys know the difference between the undertones and how I recommend applying them. So my two other favorite self tanners are the Saint-Tropez Self Tanning Express and the Saint-Tropez Extra Dark Self Tanner. These two are absolutely amazing and I'll just quickly go over them because I know there's a thousand reviews out there. But the difference between this one 
sorry, put this on the ground, and the uh, self tan purity bronzing gel is that this one, so you leave it on for either one, two, or three hours, one for light, two for medium, three for uh, a dark tan, and then you rinse it off and then it develops over eight hours, so you don't have to walk around with, you know, like a muddy mess all over you. I love that. This was revolutionary, in my opinion. I know I've already said that about Saint Tropez, but that's a great way to describe them. Um, so yeah, this has always been a holy grail product for me. Whenever, when in doubt, I pull this self tanner out. Um, but the undertone to this, this sometimes the only flaw I have with this sometimes it makes me look a bit yellow. Um, the difference between I would say the golden and yellow is this has a little more. Well, just think about the difference between gold and yellow, and then you'll know what I mean. It's a little bit of like a darker yellow. I don't really, y'all. You know the difference between gold and yellow. I can't. I can't describe this right now, but it makes me look a little bit yellow. Um, that's the only flaw. But like, it still looks natural and nice. You're not, you know, big bird over here. This one is a similar concept. You leave it on for four hours, you get their dark formula color, and if you leave it on for eight you get the extra dark formula color. Now, my favorite thing to do now that I've been using this a lot, and I have a review that I'll put a card right up here that you guys can watch if you're really interested in this uh, self tanner. But this one, I've actually found that if I leave it on for two and a half hours, it is the most beautiful, natural looking tan color I've ever seen. If you're a person who likes super dark, well then leave it on for the eight hours, you won't be disappointed. But if you leave it on for two and a half hours, I know that's like not even the four or the eight hours, it's just, everything it's so pretty so this one gives more instead of like the yellow undertone this almost has like a I'm gonna say this lightly like a more red undertone it looks super super natural oops I just got a phone call so now I don't remember where I was but like I was saying this has a super nice undertone it's a little red which I think makes it a little bit more natural looking than this um but don't get me wrong I still use the, the express tan every once in a while but I but once I got this I didn't use this as much I love this product. I think this is everything. If I am going to wait eight hours with a tan, I'm going to wait eight hours with this on because it doesn't feel like I have a tan on. But yeah. So if you're looking for a lighter undertone to a tan, it's, I feel like that's the best way to say it. If you're looking for a not such an intense undertone, I would use the three hours. This one gives you a little bit more golden. So you really do look like, I mean, it's the most natural looking one in my opinion. But leave this on for two and a half hours. And you'll have a beautiful like red undertone to your skin. It's gonna be gonna be amazing. Whichever one you guys prefer, they're all great. A review on the Saint Tropez bronzing water gel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any other products in the future that you want me to review, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to check them out. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, wait, before you go, don't forget to follow my Instagram. I'll leave it right here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!